Let's look at TCS. TCS has an ROC of 64.6%, which means it earns 64.6 rupees for every 100 rupees of capital employed. On the surface, its strong ROC reflects efficient use of capital and you can see the returns it has delivered over the years. But how TCS is able to generate such a higher ROC? The answer lies in its business model. It's an asset light business. It doesn't need any factories or plants or machinery, just people. In service businesses like TCS, capital needs are lower. That allows them to convert every rupee of capital into profit far more efficiently. That gives them a higher ROC. So one thing is clear, ROC is fairly straightforward. Lower the capital requirement in a business, higher the ROC and vice versa. Still unsure how to use ROC to pick the right stocks? We have broken it down for you in this explainer video. Go check it out. Investments in securities market are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.